says, I have the power! Oh, it's celery. What a shitty power. I really think my neighbors are starting to enjoy that quiet time between 5 a.m. and 2 p.m. while I'm sleeping. It is 3.30 in the morning and I'm feeling in a very random mood, so I'm about to teach you something. That's right, it's story time. I'm gonna take this little bit of knowledge and just cram it into your cranium until you know all the things that I need you to know. Don't say I never did anything for you, because this is gonna be a very important piece of knowledge. You're gonna pass it on to your kids, your kids are gonna pass it on to their kids, your kids are probably gonna pass it on to a robot, and then the robot is going to live forever. It's really actually pretty important because eventually, eventually, you're gonna have to leave the house and meet people. You can put it off for as long as you want, or you can use this little tidbit of knowledge about to throw at you and have some fun. I'm gonna teach you guys about the bad touch. Not this, not whatever that is. All right, so the, the bad touch is, is kind of like a handshake but a dirty handshake. Now this is something that after I teach it to you, you can only use it for good. If I see any people out there doing the bad touch for evil, I'm gonna give you the bad touch. So this is your hand, and this is the other person's hand who is never gonna speak to you again. And uh, you know, you're all like, oh, what a lovely day we're having. I know, right, it's magnificent. Let's shake hands about it. And you come in, you come in like this, right? And it's like, oh, this is a normal handshake. But then, then you take these two fingers right here, and you do one of these. Real, real, real slow, like, real, real slow. For added effect, you could even wet your fingers if you wanted to. And that, my friends, is the bad touch. And now I'm gonna share with you a story where I used the bad touch, and it didn't turn out well. I don't know how true this is for everybody else, but when I meet somebody for the first time, I generally, you know, I, you know, hold back, and I gauge who they are as a person, decide if they're really ready for all of this. All, all of this. And they're usually, usually not. Because a lot of the time, nobody wants to hear about my penis. On this said occasion, I was meeting somebody for the first time, and I did not hold back. I've noticed that he's prepped his hand for a handshake. He's got it in the position. His hand gets, gets all the way, you know, about halfway up where the appropriate, you know, arm level for a handshake would be. And it's go time. I am fully committed. I am gonna molest this guy's wrist right now. It is on. So I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. So I jam my hand all up in there and I ever so daintily just caress the inside of his wrist. I give it a firm but gentle wiggling. I looked into his eyes and I could see all the joy of this, of this union just dripping. And the look on his face was both shock, terror, and a whole lot of disappointment. He looked like he had just witnessed the Red Wedding in person. He looked like he had just walked in on his grandma only in fishnet stockings. A little, little tiny tear just streamed down his face and then jumped to its death. You can almost tell, like, I probably ruined the rest of his week with this handshake. Like, he had some things to do that day. They weren't getting done. He just got molested by the wrist. He's probably getting, like, groceries or something, but instead just cried in the corner in a ball. It's just like a little baby. And because he didn't go do that thing that he had to do, it was like a ripple effect for, like, the rest of the month. Just ruining events in his life and finally lapping up on the beach of death destroying future happiness for generations. He's gonna tell his grandkids about this story and they're gonna weep and probably not be able to do the thing they had to do the next day and just the ripple goes on. I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but on his wedding night, this handshake is probably going to haunt him. I might have ruined a marriage. Who knows? It's a powerful handshake, people. That's what you don't understand. So this whole thing went down for like a second, but to me it felt like it was a year. And so with typical handshake etiquette would dictate that if, you know, somebody's done with this handshake, they've decided the handshake is over, there's no more handshaking going on here, their hand will go limp, and that signifies to you it's time to let go. And that is just what this other guy did, but I had a couple other plans today. I kept going. I kept going, kept the fingers going, kept the hand going, lots of eye contact, and that's when he jerked his hand away. Mm, I put up a fight. <laughs> the eye was downright creepy that day. So I'm thinking to myself, I want this guy to remember who I am. I want him to remember what I do. I want to remember this face and this hand. I am not responsible for you going to jail because of the bad touch. That, you can't blame that on me. 
You guys are all amazing. I will see you on Tuesday. I love you a whole heap loads. And now we're gonna we're gonna make out with my nipple.